Let's dive into what camera settings I use for real estate photography on my Sony a7 IV. And be sure to watch until the end. I have a free guide that you're definitely going to want. If you enjoy videos about real estate photography and the business and want to see more, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. All right, guys, this is a Sony a7 IV, and this is what I use every day to shoot real estate. Let's talk about the camera settings. First thing you'll want to do is you'll want to set it to manual mode. That's on the top dial here. Make sure you're on M. Here you'll be able to have full control over the camera and the settings. So next we want to set our aperture. For real estate photography, I set it at nine. So this keeps your whole area in focus. You'll see down here, I have F9. And what you'll do to change that is you'll toggle this back and forth till you reach nine. Next, we're gonna set up bracketing. For real estate photography, I shoot three frames at three steps apart. How you do that is you click left button here, scroll down, and you'll see I'm doing three frames at three steps apart. So we're taking multiple images with different exposures. Next, you wanna set your ISO. I keep that between 100 and 320. So I use 100 generally for outside photos and 320 inside. And for twilights, I tend to bump it up to about 400. You'll press the right side of this circle here and you can toggle back and forth until you get the ISO that you need. Next thing I do, is I set the camera timer. Since we're shooting on a tripod, it's really helpful to set your timer. I set mine to about two seconds to reduce any shake before you take the photo. Next, we're gonna go into the function panel right here, and we're going to set the whole area to be in focus. So we're gonna set this to focus area wide. So we're setting that here to wide. Next, we want to, again, in the same function panel, we want to use our auto white balance. This turns out just perfectly fine, set to auto. Over here, we want to make sure we are in multi for metering mode. That's here on the far right-hand side. And then lastly, we're going to set our focus either in camera or on your lens to manual focus. And you'll do that if you don't see this on the side of your lens, you will have the option to set it in camera, but you'll wanna set it on manual focus here. And then on your lens, make sure you rotate the focus ring so that it is lined up with the infinity symbol. So when you're going to take the shot and you're doing this focus ring right here, you'll see it change from a number to the infinity sign. And one last thing, you'll wanna make sure you're shooting in raw. So make sure you go to your menu key right there. You'll go to the camera, you'll go to image quality, and then image quality settings. So I have both of my slots, both of my memory cards set to raw. So this is going to give you the most information for each photo, which also means more editing possibilities. So that's it guys. That's what I use every day for real estate photography and you can do the same. So I hope you found those settings helpful. When I started real estate photography, I was definitely overwhelmed by all of the equipment and what to use and where to get it. I have formulated a free equipment guide with absolutely everything that I use today to run a successful real estate photography business, including direct links to the item. Click on the link in the description below. Enjoy guys.